Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Montanelli. It was so nice seeing some of you today on Zoom and uh, some of you brought up some questions about the sight word packet, so I'd really like to just give you a quick explanation. I know we kind of gave a quick one in school, but it's been a while since we've been back, so let's refresh our memory. The first thing you're gonna get is a packet that looks like this. All you're doing is you're going to pick your words from the sight word list for marking period three, and you're going to write them three times each. That one's pretty simple. So if I picked the word learn. I'm going to write learn, learn, learn three times. The next one that we, um, I've been getting some requests about is the word pyramids. When we do a word pyramid, and I'm going to do a quick little drawing of the best of my ability, a word pyramid. So you're going to get a pyramid that kind of looks like that. It's a triangle. And I'm going to do the word head. That's one of our words. So what I do is I start by writing an H. The next two letters, I'm building it into the pyramid. H-E. Remember my word is head. Now I do the next three letters, H-E-A, like that. And then the last or the bottom end of the pyramid should have the complete word, okay? So when you're looking at it, it should say head. At the bottom of the pyramid, I realize that some of the words are like different or huge. So if you need to go past your pyramid or extend your pyramid, that's fine. Um, but you also have a choice of what words to put in there. Just try to vary your words. Don't put head in every single one of those pyramids. I need like head in one, maybe learn in another. Um, like that is what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, next we have I uh, write it and decorate it. So you write the word in pencil under write it. Then you go and make it fancy over here and decorate it. Some of us like to write it in pencil again and then trace it in marker. Um, some of us like to do polka dot letters or squiggly line letters, something fun that you will remember how to spell the word. And the next part of our packet is the detective words. Okay, so in one column it's going to have write the word in pencil, which we did on the other page. And then over here you're going to write the word in either crayon or marker, whatever you have available. If you don't have a crayon or marker and you have colored pencils, that works too. Okay, and again, vary through your words from the pink sight word list. Don't just try and say, oh, I'm going to do learn, 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 learn the whole time. Okay, try to, you know, vary your words throughout. The next one is rainbow words. Um, those are pretty easy. I, most of the kids in class should really have a good grasp on this unless you're new. Um, you write the word in rainbow colors, okay? So if you're gonna write the word learn, you're gonna write you know, in, in the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Indigo is a very difficult um, color to find. You can just skip right to the purple or the violet, okay? We have what we call freestyle, okay, freestyle words. Um, the first column you're going to write the word in pencil, just regular, okay? So if the word is head, you just write the word head right there in pencil, just like we always do. The next one is wavy. So if I'm gonna do wavy, I'll do it next to my pyramid. I might do it like this. All right, bear with me as I draw. Okay, look next to my pyramid. Head, ooh, that's really wavy, but there it is. Not the best drawing. I'm not an artist, but I do try. <laughs> and the last one is in dots. So if I was gonna do the word head in dots, kind of how we described it the last time. Okay, and that's, ooh, I'm dropping my paper, sorry about that. That's what it would look like, okay, is if you did it in dots. Just simply like you're writing it. Um, some of the ones that uh, others were asking about are the word spirals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a separate piece of paper because it's a little tougher. Um, and the kids have done this before. They just may need a refresher because it has been a while since we've been in school. I'm going to make a huge spiral on my paper. Okay. And let's see. We have a box on our paper. And I'm going to do the word read. So when you look at it, it looks like this. In the box, you're gonna write the word read, okay? Because that's the word you're gonna be working on. And as I spiral through the paper, 
Okay. I'm going to write the word read. Oh, I made my spiral backwards, but that's okay. I'll kind of go like this. Okay, and I'm just basically spiraling my word all the way around and around until I get into that middle. When you get to the middle, it really should look something like this, where you can see the word again. Okay, so you're just going to keep writing the word over and over again on the spiral until you get to that middle part. Okay, and let's see what else is left in our packet that we need to go over. Um, there's one called Five Ways. And five ways, the first column, you're going to write your word in pencil. Next, you can do use a pen if you have a pen available. Any color is fine. Just I would avoid yellow since I did it on yellow paper. My eyes are old. I want people to read it. Um, if you have a color pencil, that's the next way to write it. And then in marker and in crayon. And if you don't have any of these tools available, please just use what you have to the best of your abilities. I'm not going to go bonkers if you put pen in the colored pencil area. Um, and then the last word is just some more pyramid words again, which we went over. I hope that this tutorial helps. Um, if there are any more questions, please let me know. I'll be glad to clarify it, okay? Have a great day, and I hope this helps. Bye, guys!